Within Selenium IDE, you may have seen that there are two sets of commands that are awfully similar, assert and verify. Each has many options and indeed mirror each other with one subtle difference, how they are intended to behave when they fail a check within a test. Understanding the difference and when to use each of these is important, so let's take a look at each of these in action. So we have an interesting site here. We have some validation that we want to test. So we're going to record a test here, and as we go in, we'll just hit the Save button. And when we do that, we need to validate a bunch of text on this occurs. So we need to say, hey, uh, let's make sure that this main message occurs. Let's let's assert that. And let's each of these things. So the title of the event's required, so we better assert that that happens. So let's you know assert that. And the location is required, so we better assert that that's the case. And you know, so we can see this is really easy to build it. I can just go through assert, 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 and the description again is required, and I can say assert on any one of those. So there's an easy test. So when I hit the button, I should assert on all those, and if I run the test again, perfect, it runs great. Now, that's the assert. What happens on the assert then is if the test doesn't quite run as is expected. Let's say that the text that I just saved right there wasn't indeed. If I look at the requirements document, I can see, well, maybe it wasn't, maybe it's supposed to say, please collect the following errors, dot, dot, dot. Maybe this is what the requirement says it's supposed to be. And our job is to be particular. We need it to say exactly that. So when I run, well, I didn't test the rest of this. I stopped at the first one. So let's say that many of these guys were off. So the title of, of the event is required. Maybe it's not supposed to have a period there. And location is required. Location, maybe it should be location of the event is required. So as I'm doing the requirements, I shouldn't just trust the page on the text. I should be looking at this um, inside of here. And then description is required. So let's just say this should be event description is required. So inside of this, I could go through, run the test and fail, and the developer could come by and say, oh, well, look, um, when I ran the test, this failed. And I go back and I fix that, I test it locally, I do a build, I send it to the server, it gets deployed, next day it comes back, and then I'd run that one, and guess what? The next error would be found. Let's go through the cycle again. Next day, send it off, fix that, go back, come back, the next one would be found. Well, that's highly undesirable. I don't want my testing cycle to go over many days for things that are all should be checked right there. Now, when I did my check inside of here, notice I right-clicked and it said assert because that's the one that pops up right away. The proper choice inside of here should have been go to all the commands here and then pick the verify inside of here. So I can do that just as easily by checking it on this side. I'm going to go over here and change the cert to be verify text. So now by changing this to be verify, when I run the test again, we can see it fails this one, but it continues on and checks the next one. Well, again, if I do a verify on this one, it keeps going down. Both of those have failed now. And let's just change all these to verify. Let's change these from a cert to verify. So now, as I do my verification across all these, we can see my test case does indeed fail. But I'm getting all the failures out of the test case, each element that's failing. Because within this, we are not caring about stopping the test case on the first failure. That's what assert does. When I say assert, I'm saying that if this isn't true, there's no point in continue testing. It, it, the state doesn't make any sense, and there's nothing else to check. As opposed to verify, which is just saying, hey, our test is running along, check this thing. If it's wrong, then we'll fail the test case, but let's keep going. And that's the key behavior between the two of these. The verify is saying to me, I have many things to check. And in this case, the validation, I want to check all the validation rules. And that gives us more information out of our test. It tells us everything that's wrong within our test. And we have to be very careful in choosing which one we're going to use. If indeed the first one failing is going to cause other ones to fail, I should do an assert in the first one. But outside of that, using verify really does help us to get the most out of our test cases, give the most information back as it goes, and be able to tell all the test failures to the development team or whoever's going to fix these all at once.